Alright, the first step to RNG abusing on an emulator is understanding the concept of safe stating until you hit your target delay consistently. So for this I'm going to open up Decimium. We can minimize this for now. And now we're going to open up Heart Gold because I'm going to be doing some RNG breeding in this example. So. start the game, make sure I have my Alakazam in the daycare, so I just talk to him. Yeah, I have my Dudo and my Alakazam in there. Yeah, I guess. So yeah, once you have your parents in and you save in front of him, you can just pause the emulator for now, because we're not doing anything. Now, going to RNG Reporter. As you see, I already opened up the Time Finder. If you don't know how to do that, just go open up RNG Recorder, click Time Finder, 4th Generation Time Finder. Alright. So as you see, I entered a minimum delay of 500 and max of 520. And what this means, it, um, RNG Recorder will only search for seeds with delays in that range. I advise you use that range because it's pretty easy to hit those delays. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so as you see, I chose a timid nature. Ability 0 for Abra is synchronized. And the gender ratio for Abra is 75 male and 25% female. For shinies, you're going to need to know your ID and your secret ID. To find those, just use Pokecheck. Alright, as you see, we have a free one seed. And that's going to be useful later on because we don't have to advance the egg RNG. So once you have your seed, click generate more times. Minimize that. Put that here. Put this here. And then you're going to want to open up RAM Watch. Click open and open up the watch file for heart code. So as you see, this is the initial seed. Let me just put a note reminding me. And this is the current seed. Current seed, okay. So, as you see, if we press play, this is gonna start changing. And as you see, it's right changing, so let's press pause. Pause, okay. So now we're going to want to reset. But first, let's just move it over real quick. Alright, now. We have our seed we want to hit, and we know it's a delay of 514, and that delay for some reason is easy for me to hit. So we're going to want to reset the game, but first we're going to want to press play. Now we're going to reset. We're going to try to get to the continue screen as fast as possible. safety as soon as you get to the continue screen. So let's just copy this for now. Because we're gonna be looking up our delay. So we're gonna load our first save state and check what delay we hit. And in this case I think I already hit my target delay. So let's just make sure and yep I already hit my target delay. So you can get lucky like that and you don't have to really make that many save states. So in this case I already have my calibration done. So at this point I would just change my computer time to the target time. So January 1st. Um, that's the wrong seed. I just realized that. Paste generate. Alright. That's the race. That's 10, 37, 56. And I started 3 seconds before so I can have time to prepare. So, and as you see, we did not hit our C, but we hit the target delay. So I was just off by a second. So we'll just hover over your safety key, and I keep hitting the wrong. Oh, I see why. I forgot to set the AM. Wow. Oh, I never got to change the second time now. So, 10, 3, 7, 
six. So yeah. So and as you see now we hit our target seed. So let's just pause for a second. So we just hit our target seed and and that was pretty easy, yeah. This is why I like RNG on an emulator rather than a actual DS because it could take a good few minutes or so to hit your delay. And since you have to hit it twice for RNG breeding or any other RNG in generation four, that's really time consuming. So as you see we did that around probably five minutes or so. Well, I meant the whole process, pr probably around five minutes. And delay calibration a few seconds, apparently. <laughs> I got really lucky. So now, as you see, that's pretty much the idea of hitting your seed on an emulator using save states. Now let's just try that again. So we're going to reset. And I forgot to press play, so... And it doesn't matter. Now let's just remove that. I'll take care of that after our save state, so we're gonna save state to frame two. I mean save state two, because I don't want to lose the first save state. So as you see, we're gonna just reload it and it quickly enter the game. As you see this time we're hitting a different delay, so you can just change the ending of the seed to find out what delay you hit based on this. So as you see we hit a delay of 504, which is 10 away from our delay. So now we need to reload save state 2 and then quickly create another save state so that we can keep trying to hit our delay. So load save state 2 and then make a new save state like save state 3. And it has to be quickly after, not a few seconds after, it has to be really quickly after. Because the delay is 1/30th of a second if I recall. So we'll save state two and save on three. I like that. I think that was a bit too quick. And yeah, it was because it didn't really advance. So let's just try it again. Okay, that should be better. And it's somewhat better because now we're hitting a different delay, a higher one, and I believe it's 508. And it is indeed 5 points, so we're just going to repeat this process and make a new save state on 4, so like that. So you see, now we're hitting another new delay, which is 512. So we're one away from our actual delay, and I say one away because you can only either hit even delays or odd delays, so you're going to want to know what delay your emulator hit hits before you start doing this, but usually you should hit even delays. So now we're going to load save state 4 if I recall, and create a new one of 5, like that. As you see, we should be hitting our target delay now. It may fluctuate, but just ignore it. Just try to start it as fast as possible. As you see now, it's much more consistent since I'm not clicking it instead of... Instead, I'm hitting the actual button. So yeah, now we have our actual seed. I mean, target delay. I'm sorry. Now we have to change our time, if I recall. So, 1037, 56. So, let's just load 65. And as you see, I was one away from my delay. So yeah, it can change, but I'm just keep trying and you should get it quickly. Much more quickly than on a DS anyways. So let's just try again. I don't know why it's not doing it now. There we go. We hit the seat again. So as you see, it's pretty simple. We did that calibration in around two or three minutes, which is pretty good. So that's pretty much the idea of calibrating your de target delay on an emulator. It's really simple after you start understanding it. So that's pretty much it for this part, this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll upload the next tutorial in a few days. Maybe hours, I don't know.